Well, a very pleasant good day to you, everyone. This is moving day. We're pulling out of our campsite, our beautiful campsite at Devil's Garden Campground. Let's see here. That's looking good. And there she is. Hard to believe the uh, time went so fast. We got a lot of things done, got to see a lot. Oh, there's the bathroom, we just passed it. Right, there is a, a, a laundry tub for dishwashing, but there are no showers and there is no hot water. It's just uh, cold water. And then this area up here is the group area. So there's room for quite a few car parking. This is one of the trailheads right here. It goes up into the, and that does the loop around Broken Arch. But of course the 380 has no problem going around this loop, and I don't think any of them would. I really don't. Uh, it is a fairly tight park, uh, spacing-wise, in general. So just take your time and be careful, and you'll do just fine getting, uh, get yourself situated in here. It's a little daunting, intimidating, when you first come up that hill and it's a narrow road. Uh, but rest assured, there's this nice loop at the end of the road to allow you to turn. A lot of people hiking. We'll just park right here. Hook up the Jeep and we'll be in business. This little turn right here, when you come in, you're going to go, oh, geez, this is a narrow, tight campground. Well, it is in this little kind of, kind of uh, gauntlet here. And we'll see how busy it is at midday. Looks like they're pretty well full. There's a few little here and there. You just have, kind of have to be, it's kind of like going to a busy shopping center or a mall. You just have to be lucky and find the spot. Oh, there was one, kind of. There's one right here. A lot of nice RV bus parking. If you're going to come to Devil's Garden uh, Trailhead or you're going to come to Arches, this particular trailhead has all of this nice bus parking. And uh, generally people adhere to it when it's full up regular parking some people park there well this looks familiar see you see you next time landscape arch and devil's garden look at that with the formation and the snow map covered mountains beyond it beautiful kind of the last hurrah arch we did last night was uh, that one right there that sand dune arch up in one of those gaps between the the fins. And that's it right there. That's the opening that you walk up. Just above that little bush right there. Oh, that's great. It's clear today. Very clear. Echo off the rocks. Might have to come back and do that delicate arch. I haven't done it yet. It's a round trip of three miles, isn't that what they said? Yeah, they just I'll shift up and we get to the top of the hill here. Been to this one, huh? Yeah. And down we go. Twenty miles an hour.
in uh, second gear at 25 mile an hour, keeping the speed no more than 25 and 15 for these hairpin turns. <coughs> With the engine brake on, of course. I don't know if it's legal in the park, but I'm doing it. That's what we came down straight ahead. You see the cars zigzagging back and forth up there. Too much of a line right now. They said around one o'clock is probably the best time if you're going to come in the afternoon for a line. It's somewhere between 12 and 1 right now. Quite a bit of water in that still. Check it out. Over there by the right mirror, you can see it. One hop in place. Looks like a resort town, doesn't it? Yeah. Buy your t-shirt there. Coin laundry, that's a good thing though. No. Right there across from McDonald's. Easy to remember. It's quite a buggy there, that red one, isn't it? <laughs> Steerable rear, rear wheels. It's a big one. What's the challenge in going over rocks with that thing? It would climb a house six minutes away. And it's off the highway. I look at that one there, and I'm like, mm, no, I don't think so. Jacks on one side, mansions on the uh, McMansions on the uh, other side. <laughs> Who's your first? I, I I would gather probably the Jacks. That would be my guess. There it is. Just like we knew where we were going, huh? Off 
Let's register a head. I think this is going to be all right. See, so there's some trees. Yeah. 100 yard marks. Yeah. So that was your very easy. Transition days are a lot of work. Thankfully, I'd booked hookups at the OK RV park in Moab because it turned hot that next week. While there, we did five full days of jeeping. You'll see my favorite trail next week, and surprise, it wasn't any of the more famous ones. The other four days of jeeping episodes will also appear, but later this fall, so you won't miss those if you're subscribed. Then in two weeks, we head out of Moab right up the Colorado River Gorge to Grand Junction. You didn't think I'd do that boring four-lane up to I-70, did you? We spent one night there refueling, washing clothes, and making a Sam's run before heading to our next campground in the high country. Again, not via the interstate. All that and more is coming up. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in next week's Jeep Trail episode, where even I was challenged. Thanks for watching.